So it's time to solve another problem which is problem number 9. Right now you can see on your device problem number 9 is showing as well. And this problem indicates as a particular company has net profit before tax which is dollar to like 18,000. And company has to consider 40% of tax rate. And the company must pay $32,000 to the preference shareholders. And at this moment, company has 85,000 shares outstanding. So considering the information, we have to find out earning per share or EPS as the first requirement. And in the requirement B, if the amount of dividend of equity share is 0.8, then what will be the retained earnings? So we have to consider to find out here two requirements. First requirement, we have to find out EPS or earning per share and second requirement I mean requirement B we have to find out amount of retained earnings so considering the information given we will find out both the requirements so let's see how we can do that so problem number nine and we have to find out primarily the requirement a where we have to find out earning per share so requirement a earnings per share and here we have to draw a table to show the calculation of eps first column we will show the particulars or details and next column we will show the amount of money so particulars and amount in dollar and this is the calculation of EPS so initially we are given here net profit before tax and it is dollar to like an 18,000 and we have to less amount of tax which is at 40 percent on to like 18,000 so we can calculate inner column or show the calculation into this column so to like 18,000 that will be multiplied by 40% and if we multiply then it will be 87,200 and after subtraction the value will be 1 like 30,800 and this amount will be considered as net profit after tax as we have already subtracted amount of tax so we can write net profit after tax and then we have to also subtract the amount of preferred stock dividend which is given dollar thirty two thousand you can see right now so preferred stock dividend thirty two thousand and after subtraction 98,800 so this amount will be considered as earnings for the common stockholders so we can name the amount earnings for common stockholders we have also given here the number of shares outstanding in equity so number of shares outstanding which is 85,000 shares and close the table as we computed the required amount which we require to find out in the equation or formula 
So we know earnings per share or shortly EPS equal so earnings for common stockholders that will be divided by number of share outstanding so we have earnings for common stockholders 98800 dollar and it will be divided by number of share outstanding which is given 85000 shares if we divide dollar 1.16 so dollar 1.16 will be considered as earning per share or eps so i hope you have come to understand where we have just considered net profit before tax and then we considered to less amount of tax which is at 40 percent rate and then it will be considered as net profit after tax and uh, then we have to also subtract from the amount of net profit after tax pay for the stock dividend which is given 32,000 in this particular math and after subtraction we will get earning for earnings for the common stockholders which is 98,800 and considering this equation of EPS where earnings for common stockholders that will be divided by number of shares standing we will easily compute the earnings per share which is 1.16 so I hope you have come to understand the first requirement now we will move forward to compute the next requirement requirement B so requirement B where we have to find out retained earnings and we can draw a small table to find out amount of retained earnings particulars and amount of dollar so and the calculation of retained earnings and we are given in this particular requirement dividend per share which is dollar point eight we are also given number of shares outstanding which is 85,000 shares and here we have to also consider from the requirement a earnings for the common stockholders so we can write from requirement a earnings for common stockholders and it is dollar ninety eight thousand eight hundred now we have to input the information into the table so we can write earnings for common stockholders and we have ninety eight thousand eight hundred dollar and from this we have to subtract dividend paid we have to compute here in the inner column so dividend per share we are given 0.8 number of share outstanding which is 85,000 shares so if we multiply it will be 68,000 and after subtraction the value will be 
30,800 and this amount will be considered as retained earnings so we can write earnings so this is the amount of retained earnings for the common stockholders so I hope you have come to understand this requirement as well I mean requirement B along with requirement A and that can help you in future for your next calculation